taking care of my health and prioritizing my own wellness is so selfish. Don't buy into that advice. <laughs> Today, we want to talk all about what it means to take care of our overall health as Christian women. So today we want to talk all about our overall health in the aspect of healthy Christian living. Mm -hmm. And we believe there's two things that we want to work through. And one of them is actually with our overall health, living in alignment with what the Bible has to say. That's a big one. <laughs> and then number two is actually working through obstacles that hinder our growth within overall health. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Well, overall health is one of those categories that you can like line up a few different things underneath, right? Our overall health is like our overall well-being. So it's compromised, comprised, I guess is the right word, of things like our sleep, what we eat, our nutrition. It's comprised of movement, exercise, flexibility in your life. Mm -hmm. There's so many things like a morning routine. Mm -hmm. like Another big one that we talk about often is the content that you are choosing to consume and view. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we want to start by reading a scripture to you because we like to incorporate what scripture has to say on this area of our life. Mm -hmm. And so for overall health, we are reading from Colossians chapter three, verse 17. And here's what it says. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. So whatever we do, that includes what we put into our bodies, the food, the drink, our sleep, everything that is about our overall health, like movement, like what we put into our minds. Mm -hmm. This all has to do with our overall health. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that in our culture, so many women and men too, but we don't recognize how bad we actually feel because we're just used to feeling that bad all the time that that's become like the new standard for normal. And yeah. we're here to tell you that that is not the standard for <laughs> how you should be feeling. That's right. You want to feel good. When you wake up in the morning, you should feel good. You should have energy throughout the day. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to be taking tums after every meal <laughs> or in between meals. That's such you know, a big one that we hear so often. That's right. Like that's the, that may be the norm for so many people, but that is not about healthy living. Mm -hmm. Or here's really, another one. You're not really feeling good when you're popping tums all the time. Or people that are popping like ibuprofen yeah. all day, every day, yeah. because you have these uh, residual headaches that never go away, or you have achy joints because you're carrying around too much extra weight. The list just goes on and on, or you just don't feel good in general. Like right? you, you feel, feel sluggish. sluggish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sluggish and bloated. Yeah. And you just feel blah. Yeah. And that is not good health. Nope. <laughs> and the good news is that we can control so many aspects of our health. There's lots we can't control, but there's lots <laughs> that we can control. So let's start by talking about a few things that we think are really crucial to living a healthy life for your overall health. Mm -hmm. The first one we want to talk about is water. Water is crucial for our health. <laughs> our bodies are made up of, I never get the percentage right, but it's like 60 some percent, right? Yeah, certain organs are made up of 70 and 80 and even high 80s, like our brain, mm -hmm. requires a lot of water. But if you have a headache, the first thing you should do is go and hydrate yourself, drink water, because so often you have headaches because you're lacking water. Like our bodies thrive on water. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the weight loss mode, you need to have the water to flush out all the toxins and to flush out the waste that's in your body. Water is the physical life source <laughs> yeah. just like jesus is our spiritual life source that's right and mm -hmm. i don't know if you're anything like the rest of the world but oh my goodness many people instead of drinking water are like way overdoing it with coffees and teas and soda or pop and that is not a replacement for water we're yeah. here to tell you <laughs> absolutely so water is really crucial for your overall health yeah what's another one well, another one is movement or exercise. And we know that so many women, the second that they hear the word exercise, they go, oh, not for me. <laughs> and we're here to tell you, you don't have to go to the gym 
That's not what we're saying. You don't have to pump iron. You don't have to have a six pack. You don't have to be size zero. What you need to do for your body is to move and move daily. Our bodies and the organs inside the body need to move for good functionality. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you know what? On top of those health benefits from movement, the benefits for our mental health and well being from exercise huge. are like, they're off the chart. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, studies show that exercise is more effective than like antidepressant medications, but most people are not willing to commit to their health in for in the form of movement and exercise to improve their mental health and well-being. I know and that is a huge point that you've just, you know, brought up. So for your own health, yeah. for your mental health and your physical health, start moving your body. And mm -hmm. you know what what we say is move in 10 minute increments. All you have to do is move for 10 minutes, get your heart rate pumping. Everything in your system is going to just work better. Yeah. I want to just say too if you have an animal, and I'm going to use a cat, if you wake up in the morning and you think about a cat waking up, they stretch and <laughs> yeah. yawn and, you know, move all over slowly. And if you just follow that simple example of a stretch and, you know, just move your body a little bit before you jump up and go get in the shower and go to work, do a little bit of stretching because you'll be amazed and how much better your body feels mm -hmm. just from a little bit of movement. Exactly. And the other thing about movement specifically where people have a lot of resistance is like, you don't have to start with the marathon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Start where you're at, right? People hear the word exercise and they're like, well, I can't bike 20 kilometers. That's well, right. you don't have to That's right. <laughs> start Absolutely. where you're at. And we have worked with many women who do suffer with a lot of pain and, you know, we tell them, start with what you can do that does not cause pain. So if that means that you're sitting on your bed doing some stretches to start with, then that's where you start. That's right. And you work your way up little by little, step by step. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So movement is another one that, like we said, we know people get resistant to it, but it's for the sake of your health. It's for the sake of treating your body like a temple, not a trash can. That's and right. so we've got to just start. Another big topic for your overall health is sleep. Mm -hmm. Now I know from experience that sleep is really important for your overall health because my hubby went down a journey where he couldn't sleep and his whole overall health declined. His physical health, his relational health, his spiritual health and his mental health, everything just spiraled down. Yeah. And it all started with lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. So do something for yourself so that you're getting between six and eight hours of sleep or rest every single night. Yeah. You may have to get into a routine and like we have morning routines, then we have evening routines. Maybe you need to read a book until you kind of feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to turn your phone or the device off because we know that background white light isn't good because it just kind of energizes us. Yeah. So do things that work. Maybe it's a, a warm glass of almond milk. Like you never know what's going to work for you. <laughs> exactly. And if you need to go get some help because you have difficulty sleeping, then go get some help. Yeah. Like sleep is so important that, you know what, let's start addressing it because, <laughs> and the other thing, sometimes we can control a lot about it because we're all just too busy binging Netflix. That's right. That we stay up too late and then we have to get up early and then we're not getting enough sleep, but it's by our own doing. Yeah. And then we're irritable the next day. We take it out on our coworkers or our family or children or our spouse. Mm -hmm. That is not good for your overall health. No, nope. that just brings in another relational aspect of your overall health. Exactly. So another aspect of overall health that we're not going to dive deep into right here is nutrition and what we choose to consume as fuel for our bodies. We have lots of other videos that you can check out on our channel that are more geared towards food and you know what are what foods are helpful what foods are harmful um so we're not going to dive deep into that one but the one that we do want to talk more about is the content that you are choosing to take in that's right because what you're doing is you're taking it into your body and when we say take it into your body it's going into your mind and your mind plays havoc with your body yeah. okay so our mind is huge mm -hmm. it's how we act how we feel how we think it's everything. So start thinking about what you're consuming in your mind. Mm -hmm. And you know, we just want to say that old saying, garbage in, garbage out. 
That's true, but we like to say, you might've even heard us say it before, garbage in, garbage stays, garbage has babies and garbage keeps multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. And it just starts to overflow from us. And what comes out of the mouth, comes out of the body, comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. It's the overflow of the heart. So we really have to be careful what we consume in our minds. Mm -hmm. That means you have to think and be aware of what you're watching on television or Netflix or Brickbox or whatever you watch. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be careful of what we're putting into our minds because it stays there. And like you said, it can multiply, have babies and keep multiplying. Mm -hmm. And we're not even here to say that the content itself maybe is bad content. It might be bad for you. That's right. You know, like we're all individual. Exactly. And we, and we know what things trigger us for certain behavior. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And a big one, I think, in the world today with social media is like envy, being envious of somebody else's life. That's right. Yeah. And another one that robs us of our health is the comparison game. Oh yeah. You know, when you're scrolling through magazine or Facebook or magazines or Instagram and you go, oh, I want to be like her. Oh, I want to be like him. Oh, I wish I was skinny. Oh, I wish I was thin. Oh, I wish I had that much money. Oh, I wish I had that house. That is not helping your overall health. It's really, that comparison game is, it robs you. Mm -hmm. It robs you from joy. And joy is part being content being joyful is part of our overall health when we're positive the cup is full when we're negative the cup is empty mm -hmm. so we really have to be careful with social media <laughs> <laughs> exactly so i think that's a pretty good overview of our overall health and we just really want to invite you to start becoming aware of you know how you are prioritizing yourself or if you're not prioritizing yourself and, you know, at the beginning, we talked about <laughs> how so many of us feel like it's selfish to make ourselves a priority. And Don't buy this advice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we, we're telling you to buy into this advice. That it is important to prioritize your own health. And, you know, the biggest thing about our own health is that think about the uh, when you're on an airplane, the flight attendant always says you have to put on your own oxygen mask before you can help somebody else. And the same is true in our life. We have to take care of our own health so that we are able to live out the purpose that God has for us, whether that purpose is taking care of your family or a sick family member or your job or whatever. We have to start managing our health, not in a way that's selfish. That's right. We have to start prioritizing ourselves because the bible says we have to love our neighbor as ourself mm -hmm. and so we have to take care of us that does not mean that you're being vain or egotistical it has nothing to do with that it has to do everything with looking after your own body treating it like a temple not a trash can mm -hmm. so that you can look after everyone else but we have to have a little bit of that selfishness for our own sake so that we can be healthy. Yeah. And you know, we just want to say that that feeling of selfishness you get when you start actually taking care of yourself, that is a lie, right? That's a lie that you're telling yourself that you're being selfish when in reality, you're, you're taking good care of your body and stewarding the body that God gave you to the best of your abilities. And you're prioritizing your health which is what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we often, we'll just end with this. We often use the example of like brushing your teeth or showering, right? We prioritize that stuff. Yeah, we're not our leaving the house until we've done that. <laughs> even if you wake up late in the morning and you're racing out the door to work, you're going to brush your teeth. Even if you're doing it like in the car on your way there, right? You're going to make sure that happens. And we don't think of that as selfish. So why do we think of all these other things as selfish? I think it's because we just get bombarded with, all of the things in life that we feel responsible for and then we put ourselves at the bottom so if you have liked what you heard we just ask that you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and leave a comment what aspect of what you just heard resonates with you put it in the comments and let us know because we will respond to your comments yeah we sure will and if you're still here watching, we would also love to invite you to download our free guide. It's a five-step decision-making guide to help you on your weight loss and your health journey. It's called, Should I Eat That? 
So you can go grab your free copy at shouldieatthat.com. It's a five-step decision-making guide that's going to help you navigate all of the decisions, all of the temptation as you move forward to reclaim your health. So thanks for being here watching. And until next time, treat your body like a temple, not a trash can.